It was a whirlwind visit to North Caicos for WIV4 Thursday to see what the business about a senior government official's retreat was really about. The Premier filled us in on the getaway and the British Foreign Affairs Committee investigation of his government. Here's the story. The Premier said he chose North Caicos to get away from the hustle and bustle of our capital cities. The St. Charles Resort is the venue where a senior manager's retreat is taking place and you can be assured that there will be heavy talks, heated debates and a forward focus as the Turks and Caicos government comes together to decide what's going to happen for 2008. Behind closed doors, that's where the discussions were unfolding. But before the media was escorted out, the Premier and his cabinet let us in. Let us in on what the three-day escape will achieve. Phrases like more conservative in regard to spending by the government, boosting morale among civil servants and eliminating cronyism in the public service sector stood out during a press briefing to explain the reason for a senior government manager's retreat. 2007 has been uh, a very interesting year for us. Um, while while the, the economy has grown, uh, will, will at the end of the day show double-digit growth. Uh, it is it is true that um, because of the uh, subprime crisis in the United States, there's been a softening of the of the market. But we're very very optimistic about 2008. Uh, there's already showing signs of. Uh, of recovery and we believe 2008 will be great and, uh, and so we, we will be here in North Caicos over the next three to four days uh, strategizing and, and planning uh, for 2008 and beyond. Even more curious was what the Premier had to say in regard to the British Foreign Affairs Committee which many believe to be showing unusual interest in the governing style of the Honorable Michael Mizek. A story in the December 3rd edition of the Weekly News said questions of corruption and impropriety surfaced during the Honorable Mizek session. A photo from the Government Information Services supports information that the committee was here and the Premier said they are coming back. I mean, the United Kingdom is, uh, we have a constitutional relationship with them. Uh, they, they, they've always paid attention to Turks and Caicos. I think people, the, the, the uh, issue with the Foreign, foreign Affairs Committee is not, is not something that is uh, unusual. Uh, every, um, I think every five years or so, the Foreign Affairs Committee have a, which have oversight. Uh, as a parliamentary committee that has oversight on the Foreign Office, uh, they, they have a um, they, 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 they have an inquiry into how the, the foreign how the, the foreign office operates in relation to its overseas territories. So there's there's nothing uh, unusual about that. It was the first official comment given by our nation's leader following the December 2000 parliamentary inquiry in London. All overseas territories were subject to the process. The Premier called the process normal, adding that official opposition PDM complaints were the fuel for the firestorm of questions. In fact, I appeared with, three, with two other um, uh, chief ministers or premiers. And so obviously the press report that I was there, I'm sure in Anguilla the press report that their chief minister was there. So it's uh, nothing uh, unusual. Uh, what I can say uh, is that the, the Foreign Affairs Committee um, uh, will be here at, at sometime, I think at the end of February, as part of their uh, exercise. And uh, certainly um, they, they, they will be interested in hearing from the public about the relationship between uh, the United Kingdom government and, and, uh, and, and Turks and Caicos. Certainly what, what has added to attention is the the irresponsible manner in which the uh, opposition has either written to the committee or in, 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 in the case of, uh, I think, the opposition leader and the um, chairman, you know, went to London to uh, basically all of the things that they've been saying on the campaign trail, which the people rejected, uh, to make the same pitch to the Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, this is not about, uh, about politics. It's about uh, growing our country. It's about stabilizing our country. It's about growing an economy.
The Premier expressed optimism about the retreat, which involved the entire cabinet, permanent secretaries, undersecretaries, and directors. The Honorable Dr. Michael Mizick also said he would open a simultaneous financial department retreat on Friday morning, also in North, that he would open a sub-treasury for North and Middle Caicos on Saturday and give an end-of-retreat statement to the media.